we're finally going in they're treating her like a freaking queen dressed all nicely and this is what you end up doing this has to be the most romantic thing i've ever witnessed oh my god get a room <laughs> this is the most time anyone has ever been in the room where the labor happens like what even is this guy hello i'm izu and welcome to another episode of the occult baby challenge speedrun as you can see i did give kailani a little makeover and she's now a young adult and looking fabulous i normally wouldn't go for a monochromatic like one tone outfit with a color like not black or white but for some reason this outfit just works in my head at least like she looks so cool and different and i'm absolutely in love with her <laughs> here she is in the world and there's not really a reason for her to have a little snake crown but like why not and she looks gorgeous anyways i moved her in what is this glimmer brook and i also gave her a little house i saw this on gallery and i just thought it was the perfect house for her in here and if you are indeed curious where you can find this like house shell the inside looked totally different and i did also change the outside but the actual build is by hugelia and it's really cute i love it she is actually not a mermaid uh, unfortunately she is just a normal person unfortunately but i did keep her a little mermaidy aesthetic like well not mer sireny aesthetic rather we can pretend she has an eel on her head and not a snake although snakes do swim so yeah anyways i think that we either wait for the welcome wagon or we go talk to people at the realm of magic <laughs> i don't know if the realm actually has a name but the other realm i feel like our best bet is just to go through the whole portal and everything this is always like such an amazing place okay we're actually gonna just go for a walk and yeah we're gonna pretend that she's just taking a little walk i do like that it's raining like heavily raining it's really atmospheric look at all these butterflies and the rain and like the weather being kind of interesting okay we're finally looking at the portal and going in Ooh, enter the portal that was so cool okay we are now at this new place which is the school of magic and apparently we can use our phone here i would assume she'd be more impressed anyways oh wow she's using a broom actually we should find somebody to talk to there are three mages or whatever that you can learn magic from we have this guy who's like something silver sweater or something i don't remember then we have ember who is obviously a fan favorite like look at him obviously and then we have the weird girl we're actually making friends already but i don't know who to go for or should i just date another person like are all of these guys just some randos or are they all so magical i just feel like it should be one of the the mages right it should be one of them otherwise it doesn't really make sense so if it is one of them maybe we should choose whoever gets the best first impression i guess let's talk to i forgot her name what the heck is her name i don't remember but let's just pretend i remember her name 
And after that, yeah. let's talk to the other two. Gas trouble. Feeling gas is never fun. Kailani needs to let it go. Oh my god. Oh my god! He is actually magic! Wait. I like this guy. Can you talk to him? I want to know what she thinks of these people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no! I don't know if the game thinks that she's like what is going on why is she getting infant quirks she's a young adult el faba that's um her name although now she's el thorn for whatever reason then we have tomax colette emmanuel han those are all the people i've seen kailani thinks that she's pretentious but they have good compatibility and l thinks that she's funny tomax thinks oh but he's already married then maybe we should leave him alone it hasn't really stopped us before but just we try to be respectful <laughs> he's perceived as very attractive and kailani likes him and he likes her so i mean it could be these are the other two so i think i should talk to the other guys as well and just whoever she finds the most fun i'll go with and they should probably be single as well well they don't have to be but <laughs> it would be good okay could you please i would appreciate you standing up okay oh he came to us oh okay that is very actually nice you are being a freaking gentleman and also is he coming downstairs now as well oh my god what is up with these guys they're treating her like a freaking queen everyone's coming up to her like i don't know we're in court or something like she looks like a freaking princess look at her just sitting down everybody coming to greet her and she just sits around on her cute butt and gets greeted by these awesome gentlemen <laughs> This looks so funny. <laughs> he, I mean Ember, he is the mage of mischief, I think. And then he must be practical magic. And Elf, or maybe Elphaba is the mischief one. Okay, I don't remember. Okay, sadly we have bad compatibility and also Kailani thinks that he's annoying. So we just kind of have to forget about that. But we do have good compatibility. <gasps> no way! Oh, what the heck? Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, so I, I guess we have our contestant. So she has a crush. That was quick. So I guess we found our guy. She is a little bit hungry, but we don't need to think about that just yet. I think I need to just get to know him a little bit more. Where are you going? Oh, you're making it like a performance. <laughs> Telling a story like a freaking performance. I love that. Aw, he's a gloomy sim. Also, look at her cool little hand thingies. I don't know what to call them, but they are so cool. Oh, he's a geek that's interesting he's a gloomy geek Ooh, the flirt is there but i'm kind of scared to do it although he is confident so maybe we should try the flirt i did ask if he's single but i don't know if he told us he is single oh i think that went well maybe we should go outside although this is going <gasps> likes the color green Ooh, that's very good she's dressed in all green <laughs> oh no that didn't go well i don't know what she said okay i don't think they've shared similar interests because i did get her to ask about oh no 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 don't argue no 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 please don't argue oh my god stop arguing Ooh, okay simeon finds her quite attractive that's really cool. I don't think this story is going that well. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. That was very unfortunate. But I'm gonna flirt with him a little bit more. And then I'm gonna ask him on a date. Oh, they're building romance already. Amazing. Oh my god, Elphaba just walked by there like, what? 
the... <laughs> Who is this chick? It's going well! Also, they were both wearing green. This is kind of like a match made in heaven. We're going on a date. We need a restaurant. Okay, so we need to at least get out of the realm. Okay, I guess we're going to Samashuno because there is no other place. That is good. So let's go to the old salt house. Oh my god, the outfit. <laughs> Can we request this table? Oh, amazing. He's already sat down. That's amazing. Cool. Aw, he's really cute. When you kind of... I, I see the potential. Let's order for the table i like his long hair that like the you know how i am like i prefer alpha hair but i'm trying to like max as much like the clay hair more but i don't know i i see the potential we could give him a nice makeover okay we're getting some drinks and then we do have garden salad or caesar salad caesar salad sounds so good I love Caesar salad. I'm gonna get her that. And he is gonna get this one. We've <laughs> ordered. And look at this scenery. I wish I could have a better view without the pole. Like, look at them. They are being super cute. Let's compliment his appearance. He does look really nice. Like, look at him. He's wearing a full-on suit to this date. He was prepared. <laughs> Kailani is starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. At heart, she just might be a true romantic. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Why is she crying? <laughs> Is she testing her, like, mischievous skills? Like, like, this is how you do it. Like, ask me a question. And then he was like, oh, um, what do you do when something bad happens? And she's just like, oh, I just cry. <laughs> I just cry like this. <laughs> oh, he doesn't... Oh, I ordered his, him something he doesn't like, I think. Oh, no, is he a vegetarian? She was really quick with that salad. Jeez. I feel like I ordered something wrong, but I don't know. <gasps> no way! He's a snob as well! We're a snob! This match is made in heaven, I am telling you. One thing I really want to do before the date ends, they could do something in the fountain, like play in the fountain or something. That sounded really fun. Ask to play in the fountain. I want to do that. What is that? Where is this fountain anyways? Oh wait, it's right there. Wait, they're going in the fountain. No! <laughs> that looks like so much fun, but imagine doing this on your day, like dressed all nicely and this is what you end up doing. Like horrifying, but that looks so like so much fun. I feel like they're having such a nice time with each other. This date is actually going really well. Wait. Isn't this like the perfect place to kiss him? No way. Like this has to be the most romantic thing I have ever witnessed. Like look at them. Oh my god, this... I, this might be the most romantic and cute couple I have yet have had in this challenge. Like, why are they being such adorable little beans? I'm gonna cry. Like, I can't wait to see what their baby looks like. If he now does not have a baby with us, I'm gonna cry. Like, seriously, I'm gonna cry. She looks stunning. Oh my god, what is happening? Why are you being weird? <laughs> I can't with sometimes when the sims like go from one animation to another there's just like a, a second of like a a blank stare it is the most hilarious thing and it looks so out of place and so funny this is so cute not the stink being in there but <laughs> just ignore that please yay we got our first kiss and now we're gonna ask if he'll want to be a boyfriend yay he agreed! Oh, this is so cute! I wish we could have a little walk at the pier, but maybe we just instead go here. 
Oh, did he leave? Oh, that's so annoying. It's okay. I think it's a good time to go home anyway. And tomorrow we can have another date. But this was so successful. We had an amazing date, even though the game doesn't think so. And now we have a full on boyfriend. And we had our first kiss next to a little fountain. That was so romantic. Okay. I'll let her go back home and refresh and do all that. And I will catch up with you in the morning. She woke up. She now made some breakfast. She's feeling flirty still because yesterday was a lot. I was thinking we could ask Simeon to join us for lunch. Maybe we could go have lunch at a beach cafe in Brentilton Bay. I think that would be a great idea. She's not hungry though since I just ate, but I feel like we don't need to be hungry to go have a little lunchy date. Maybe we can even send her running for a little bit because that consumes energy obviously and then I think she'll be a bit hungrier. It's such a nice day today, look at this and there's like butterflies outside and she's just having a little run like that looks so nice look at her go that's amazing that looks like so much fun and the place is like phenomenal imagine having a little run next to this incredible okay at this point it's gonna be dinner <laughs> all right Let's go have a weird late lunch. I was thinking the Brindleton Bay Cafe. We have good compatibility with him. I forgot about that. Or maybe the... I don't remember if I acknowledged that. Anyways, I'm really happy about that. And there he is. Talk about... Oh, wait. Where did you go? What was this about? I didn't even have time to ask anything what the heck okay we'll have to ask him again because that was ridiculous seriously is he coming or not i might have to ask him on another date because he's not coming to the lot oh my god what are you doing why are you flirting with that dude what is happening <laughs> he's gay oh my god jesus she's out of control okay maybe he doesn't want to go there maybe we can go to the bar maybe that was the case okay at least he didn't run away that's good oh uh, now they're being so cute again like i love these two and they're being so much more romantic than any of my couples before <laughs> like they're going on actual dates they're having actual romantic cute ass dates instead of like trying to oh my god please don't you know what like personal space means can you like literally please oh, fine this time it's so much easier because he's an actual person and they get along so well oh wow this looks amazing thank you so much what is wrong with this person like seriously they're being so cute though i think after this date it's baby doing time they can finally do what they're supposed to have a little baby we don't really need to go to the restaurant actually i know it's raining but we could just like sit here i wish we could like sit on the pier actually also he's not joining okay fine you get your way we can go inside okay it is thundering so maybe this is actually a good idea <laughs> to <laughs> go inside okay that changed like so quickly they're continuing to be cute though so that's nice i feel like this is the worst place for two snobs to be dining at <laughs> i don't think this is exactly the kind of restaurant where they would like to go especially since she does have money maybe this was the only place that was open right where they were because it was like raining so much and they wanted to get inside and not be in the rain maybe that's it because they were having a romantic stroll 
at the beach oh my god get a room <laughs> and then all of a sudden it started raining so hard that they had to go somewhere i feel like that's what happened that's how they ended up in here i don't think the date meter is kind of adequately saying how this date is going because look at these two if they are so in love although the date ended and now he's gone again <laughs> no that is not what is happening actually you will come back and we're gonna go to my place that's what's gonna happen all of a sudden he decided to join us nothing to do with mc command center <laughs> absolutely nothing to do with anything <gasps> Woo, woo it's there oh my god yes we can try for a baby in a shower but i think that's a bad idea so let's try for a baby in just normal situation we'll give them the privacy they need they'll have a good old time and we don't need to look at that we can just hang out at the backyard looking at the night and the stars this looks so nice Oh, I think it's... Yes, I don't think she needs to go to sleep. We need to take a pregnancy test right away. Oh my god, yes! We're eating for two! Amazing! I wonder if it's triplets because she's already really big. At least he seems really happy. She looks so pretty. Anyways, happy to know that you're pregnant. Now unfortunately you're gonna be in labor just like that it's almost like you're wanda <laughs> let's have this baby i hope the cot works i haven't tested it and there's a lot of things going on here so it might not work but let's have this baby this is the most time anyone has ever been in the room where the labor happens like, why is Simeon just showing all the Sim world partners how this is supposed to be done? Like, what even is this guy? He's set the bar so high now. Literally a perfect man. He was really into her and like completely in on all the romance and everything right from the get-go he's been respectful he's even gone home he didn't even assume anything and now he's having a baby he just learned about it and now it's already being born and what does he do go to the room even before we're in the room and just stays there until the baby is born I need to start the Simeon Silver Sweater fan club, honestly. Like an appreciation club. Anyways, it is a girl. So now I get to name our little child. And I did, as always, not think of any names. So I'm gonna just do a little quick Google. I actually wanted to give her a really cool, like, super feminine and flowy name. But now that I'm searching through the lists of names that mean magic, there's not too many of them. And actually, there is a pretty name in Finnish that means magic, like the word magic. And that is Taika. And also, Taika is a... I don't know if it's pronounced Taika, but that is also a Hawaiian name and since kailani's kind of roots are in sulani and sulani is kind of based uh, well not based in hawaii but it's like the culture is kind of similar to hawaiian or malaysian or any kind of like this warm islandy vibe there are a lot of places on earth with that kind of culture in kind of those kind of places anyways i thought this name would be really good for the kid i really think it's nice and i like the name daika it's a really cute name not my favorite name but it's really cute oh no it's another <laughs> i thought it was gonna be twins because her belly was so big oh no okay i need to find a magic boy name now all right since we're going with the finnish names heka 
which could be pronounced in any way, it is ancient Egyptian god of magic. However, that is a nickname to a lot of Henrys, people who, who are called Henry in Finland oftentimes get the nickname of Hecock, which is good. We have now twins. And for the first time, actually, I'm using Finnish names. I usually really don't like them. I'm not the biggest fan of Finnish names, but some of them are, are kind of cute. So we're going with that. And now what you have all been waiting for, well, I don't know if you've been waiting for, but I've been waiting for, <laughs> is for me to age them up and give them a makeover. All right, this was way harder than I thought because I don't know how to dress which children. <laughs> so I gave them a very kind of this cottage core kind of woodland witchy vibes. And um, I also gave them the rune. If you can see that, that is the, the rune of practical magic. This is Taika and she is so cute. I love her already. I gave her like this almost well, not almost black, but really dark brown hair and really dark auburny eyes. I love her eyes. They look so cool. And I think she looks altogether like an adorable little toddler. And this is Heka, and I'll give him a little dummy or pacifier, whatever you call it. I'll give him this one instead. Yeah, he looks like a little potato sack, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't have any like magical clothing and Realm of Magic didn't come with any clothes for children or kids. I don't know children, but at least not for toddlers. So yeah, he also has the little rune and he has lighter eyes. His eyes are like the same kind of color that his hair is, like this medium brown. And they're both inquisitive. That's interesting. All right, there are the little children and I'm gonna go ahead and give Simeon a makeover as well. I'm not gonna add him to the family just because I don't want to break the game. It's already really broken and I feel like if I force him to become part of the family, um, I don't know what would happen to his like post as the teacher. Look at the toddlers being all cute and everything. Look at him. Why is he being so freaking cute with his little socks? Why is this the cutest thing I've ever seen? Look at them being the most adorable little thing ever. So cute, I can't. And here we have Mr. Silver Sweater. I went ahead and gave him a makeover as I promised. I went with his original style, but then a little bit elevated. Like I wanted to give him a bit more teachery vibe. Like he's a magical professor, so I wanted that to be reflected on what he wears and how he dresses. I just think he looks so cute and they look so cute together. And I also gave him another outfit with a little sweater. It's not silver, but it is a sweater anyways. And it's funny that both of them are wearing green right now. Oh my god, can you stop? That is the worst freaking bug in the game. <gasps> what? No way! Oh my god, of course! Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait! But it's happening! He's proposing! Oh, he didn't get on one knee. Usually they do that, but not this time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I enjoyed making this so much because we got to do a lot more like gameplay because usually I'm so stressed out with trying desperately to get the other person to stay. But this time it was easy because it was an actual person. So it was way easier than normal. 
and I had so much fun and we got these little cookie eggs who are so cute I can't and again if you do want to see me do a certain occult you can comment and tell me which occult you'd like me to do next well the next one I have already planned but the next after that and if you're still new here and haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video and you can then join our fabulous family here. I hope you have a very spooky day or night and week or weekend whenever you're watching this video and I will see you in the next one.